Who's ready to win some crap? By crap, I mean games. Woo! We're ready to win some games. I'm John. I'm Flavor Day! That's right. So we do a podcast called Super the Hardest. I'm sure you've all heard of it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? No, like yeah. one of you? Woo! All right, so we're going to play a, uh, a game show here. It's a trivia-style game show. None of you are contestants, but you still have a chance to win some games. As you can see, it's in the style of a certain game show that for legal reasons we're not going to talk about. So you're... Oh, you're yeah. <laughs> yes. look, at that, look at that suit jacket, right? Hey. It's, it's the business. Anyway, uh, so you're all familiar with the rules of a game that looks somewhat familiar to this, I'm sure. We're going to put a little twist on it. We'll explain that in a minute. But before we do, let's bring up our team. First team is Beer Makes Smart. Woo, come on now. Come on up, come on up. We found these guys, uh, all our contestants, on the show floor this week. Have a seat. A lovely guys couple the, from Minnesota. The, the no, Wisconsin. Sense, man. Oh my goodness, Wisconsin. They're from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin. It's a border battle today, people. Uh -oh. You want to get their names? Yes, let me get your names. Derek. Jessica. Nice to meet you. Oh, she's so shy. Good luck. Jessica. <laughs> All right. Our next team, what do we got? Team Garlic. Come on now. Team Garlic! Woo! Oh! Yeah, there we go. There's some enthusiasm. Team Garlic, can I get your names? My name is Alicia. I'm Gary. Alicia and Gary. All right, Alicia and Gary. Team Garlic versus Beer Makes Smart. So, yeah, Beer Makes Smart, Team Garlic. Right. We beer we Makes Smart. <laughs> what what he said? And this is DJ Zach. DJ Zach, give me a beat. <laughs> we didn't rehearse this he at all. He's that. on the spot. He's not ready for beats. Yeah, he's not ready for the beats yet. Yeah, neither are we. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. okay. So the rules are similar to Jeopardy. There, I said it. But the difference is, we got two teams of two. All right. For example, let's say I ask Team Garlic, these guys, a question. They get it incorrect. Beer Makes Smart will have a chance to answer the question. Make sense? That's really all there is. The other, only other rule is that each team will get two chances to have an audience assist. That's where you guys come in, right? So if they answer, if they like choose a 500 point question and they can't answer it, they can go to somebody in the audience who might raise their hand and be like, oh, super the hardest, we know the answer because we're big game geeks, right? You might win a prize, too. And we have lovely prizes for the audience members. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lovely. Some not so lovely. Would you... <laughs> I think they will... You'll raise your hand, and yes. the team will choose whoever they wish. Do me a big favor. <laughs> Don't shout out the answers. Yes, Because that jacks up the game, dummies. We have so okay. much security around, we will get you out of here. All right? So if it's like, who's Mario's brother? And you're like, mm, it's Luigi. Don't do that. You're not impressing anybody. All right? You're just irritating us, and you're screwing up the game, okay? Yeah. All right? All right. Are we Let's ready? Let's do this. You know what I just realized? We forgot to decide how they're going to choose, or, you know, who's going to go first. Oh. Right? All right. All right, who's got a coin? Give me a who's coin. Who's got a coin? Come on, give me a coin. Ah. All right, since we're in the home state of Wisconsin, we'll let the Wisconsin... Oh, home state goes first? They can, they can choose the coins. Okay. They can choose the you coins. you want to go first, or do you want to you wanna, you wanna let them go first? Oh, Beer Makes Smart passes it to Team Garlic. All right. Joel, you ready on the... Uh... All right, thumbs up. <coughs> Joel's working the uh, screen up there, so if anything gets screwed up, it's that guy. That guy. Go back and, like, kick him. Kick his chair. Don't kick him. All right. <laughs> He's raising his hand. Team Garlic, you guys ready? Which one do you want? Uh, shmups for 100. Shmups? Shoot em ups for 100. 100. Okay. Originally released in 1981, this classic space shooter was a sequel to Galaxian. Galaga? <laughs> what is Galaga? Oh, you don't have to answer in the form of a question. Oh, I should have okay. told you, you don't that. Have to answer in but the form of a question. He says Galaga. Joe. Oh. Uh, 100 Boom. points to Team Garlic. 100 points to Team Garlic. All right. You guys are up next. All right, Beer Makes Smart. Ooh, shmups for two. Ooh, shmups for 200, John. Shmups for 200. Are we ready? You guys ready? 
Created by treasure, Ikaruga is often referred to as the spiritual successor to what arcade and Sega Saturn shooter? <laughs> oh, Team Garlic throwing the shade! No idea. All right, they're passing. They're passing? Okay, guys. Radiant Silver Gun. Oh, man. Beer makes dumb. <laughs> oh, I think. that's cold. Joel, uh. I give him the space bar there. There you go. They got it right. They Good got job. it. All right. Let's, Radiant you know, Silver we, Gun. We've been at this for a couple of questions now. Let's uh, ask an, a trivia question from the audience. Yeah, I think, we should give a, I think we should give something away. Let's give something away. All right. You know what? Let's give you guys something for uh, taking the pass, right? Ah, uh, let's see. What do we got? What do you got in that bag? What do I got in the bag? Oh, oh you get a oh, copy oh. of Tecmo Bowl for the NES. Ooh, Tecmo Bowl for the NES. Nice job. See, Ooh. don't you guys? Don't you guys wish you could get that stuff? Jump in the audience. All right, I'm going down. All right, who wants to answer a question? Who All right, this guy, number 414. Yep. All right. Number All right. 414. All right. Listen to John for the question. That's the 414. Is that your area code? Is that is that the deal? Yeah. I'm oh, not from right. uh, I'm not from these parts. All right. Name the console created by Sega and named after a planet. Sega Saturn. Oh wow! Good job. Oh, that's right. Nice. What do they win, John? Well, it's not for the Sega Saturn, but it is for a Sega con uh, console. This is a copy of Sega Bass Fishing. Oh, Sega Bass Fishing! Congratulations. All right. Ooh. All right, whose turn is it? I believe it's your turn, right? Okay, Team Garlic, pick it. Quirky Classics for 100. Quirky Classics for 100. Ready? Conceived by Keita Takahashi, this Namco classic, and this guy's favorite game, <laughs> uh, stars a young prince who rolls up everything in his path. Oh, oh man. You. So good. Oh. So good. Uh, because uh, that's one of my favorite games ever, uh, you guys get a copy of uh, Pokemon Art Academy. <laughs> nice job. Enjoy. And the 100 points. And, and the 100 points. All right. Ooh, Spear makes smart. Nothing. You guys ready? All right. Uh, beer makes dumb will choose quirky <laughs> classics for 200. Quirky classics. Quirky classics with it. for 200. All right. Let's see. Uh, complete these lyrics from Parappa the Rapper. Kick, punch, it's all in mind. Mind. All right, mind. you guys are on yes, the board. They are on the board. 200 points. Holy cow. Quirky glasses. Look at this. Appropriate, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you a go. A copy of Jeopardy on Sega Genesis. Coincidentally. You are welcome. All right. You guys are up, yeah? <laughs> in perfect condition. Definitely no. <coughs> Dried water on there? Yeah. Let's do Quirky Classics for 300. Keep it rolling. Quirky okay. Classics, the hot topic Let's tonight. Let's see. Unlike Shinmu, this virtual pet game for the Dreamcast was not about sailors. Seaman? <laughs> Boom! Oh, man! All right, should we do another audience? A 300 point score. Should we do another audience? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, somebody, uh, somebody raise your hand all out right, there. What's the question? All right, Mr. Green, over here. Questions. If I can get all the way over here. All right, Mr. Lucas. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna pick. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a question real right. carefully for this guy. All right. All right, dude, you ready? I hope so. I hope so too. Uh, let's see. The name of the pink hedgehog in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. It's Amy. Oh, so confident. You're mostly right. Come on, Amy Rose. Boom! Nailed it. Oh, Amy Rose. All right. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. What do we got? I don't know. I'll just pick the first thing that I see. Dave, catch. Yep. Whoa! Woo! Got it. Hot hand. Coming in hot. Draken. Draken on uh, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. There you go. Oh, Congratulations. You guys? Boom. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, let me know. Classic consoles for one hour. Classic consoles for 100, Joel. The end of an era, this console was first, or was released in America on 9999. Oh, which is my birthday. Not the 99 part, but it is my birthday. 
That makes this one super special. Which on Twitter, John announced the video coming out instead of announcing that it was my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, John. Nobody cares. All right. Dudes, this is a hundred point question. Come on, guys, you got this. Yeah, you have two you have two chances to ask the audience, so you're saving those? Okay. Okay, they're passing over to Team Garlic. Dreamcast. Oh, that is a Sega Dreamcast. My birthday console, the Sega Dreamcast. It's a good birthday present, man. Uh are we over here now? Back to Team Garlic. Alright, here we go. Let's do Shmups 300. Shmups. The shoot 'em ups for 300. All right, originally released in 1996, this cute competitive shooter was created by ADK for the Neo Geo and recently re released for the Nintendo Switch. They're getting a little harder now, man. <laughs> They're thinking about it. Don't forget, you have two chances to pass it to the audience. Ooh, they're gonna pass to the audience. All right. All right, Dave, jump in. You pick out your person. Who you got? Back there with the hat, the Tron T-shirt. Coming out. Tron T-shirt. What's the answer, All right, buddy? Shmups for three hundred. Twinkle Star sprites. Boom. Dave, oh. coming in hot. RC Pro Am for the and NES. RC Pro Am on NES. You know what? I'm giving you guys something too for having the courage to pass it to a <laughs> random stranger in the audience. You get Home Alone 2 oh, for the NES. Home Alone 2. There you go. Did you take that out of my box? I brought that today. I don't know. Uh, I found it. It was in the room. All wow. right. Uh, That's all cold. Right. You guys are up next? All right. Uh, classics for 200. Classic consoles, 200. Claiming superiority over 16 and 32-bit console, this machine launched with the slogan, Do the math! <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Oh, the, are we ending a marriage? Are you arguing? Is that what's going on? We're pitting them against each other. Yeah, we should mention that you guys, <laughs> are, both, you guys are both married, right? Staff. Married couples? You guys oh, want to ask about the that? audience? We got a few hands raised back there. All right, pick somebody out. Pass it to the audience, all right. This guy in the sweet bonk and King Drool <laughs> uh, uh, shirt looks like he's got the answer. All right, he looks yeah. like a trusted person. Let's yeah. go check oh, it out. Oh, Dave, you know what? Take a handful of these while oh, you're Oh, yeah, there. oh my goodness. We do a podcast. It's called Super the Hardest. Here, have a card. I know you all listen. Yeah. All right. Claiming superiority <coughs> over 16 and 32-bit consoles, this machine launched with the slogan, do the math. Atari Jaguar. Oh, John, is that right? Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh. Dude, here you go. That was what a is copy it? of Pokemon Stadium. Oh, Pokemon the Stadium on Nintendo 64. Congratulations. All right. It's his lucky day. All right, Team Garlic, you got a sizable lead. Don't get cocky. All right, what do you got? Let's go Quirky Classics 400. Quirky Classics 400. This unique rhythm game for the PlayStation starring a bunny named Vibri? Vibri? I don't know. He's not in his head already. He's got this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, could be Gary's loaded ringer. onto the system's RAM, allowing gamers to use any music CD for the soundtrack. It's a Vib Ribbon. Boom! Vib Ribbon. <laughs> Oh! That is truly a quirky classic. One quirky classic deserves another. I don't know, what do we got in here? Oh, here you go. I mean, you know what, I got another prize. I don't know how quirky it is. It's, Here. Here's oh. another prize. We do a podcast called Super the Hardest. There you go. Yeah. Welcome to the club. There you go. You got one of these? Probably not. Odyssey 2. You should buy one. I'm sure someone's got it for sale. <laughs> what was it? Odyssey 2? Uh, Odyssey 2 game. Hockey and what? Soccer. Boom! Oh, with exc exclamation yeah. points. So, you know what? We're beautiful. about halfway through this game. We, should we have got a truckload games. of yeah. games out here. So uh, somebody raise your hands. Here we go. I think that's Star Trek for Super oh. Nintendo. I don't think it works anymore because uh, it just hit the concrete. <laughs> um, anyway. John, can we, give out, can we give out one more? Oh, yeah. I mean, we got a bag. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Try to catch this one this time, guys. Oh, All this right, is a Super got... Nintendo game. Ready? Who's Over that? on this oh, side? She's... Oh, come on. I don't want to yeah. hear it. Hand it to her. All right, all right. Yep, okay. come on up. Come on up. Chuck yeah. Rock. All right, Chuck Nintendo. Rock for Super Nintendo. 
Hi. Hey. Congratulations. You want to just hang out up here? Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I'm not... No? She doesn't know we need to do a podcast. She doesn't even know that. Yeah, you don't, yeah. don't listen don't to our listen podcast. To I should mention at least PG, probably 17. I don't know. Is that a thing? I yeah. think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dave is filthy. Filthy. Uh, whose turn is yeah. it? I don't even know. You're both going to say it. You're very smart. Does anybody remember? We forgot. We the There's All right. the crowd. I mean, you guys are behind anyway. So let's just, even if it's not this. your turn, let's make it your turn. All right. Easter eggs 500. Whoa, Easter eggs 500. They're going oh, for the man. gold. I don't even I love know it. this. All right, ready? Trying to make up some this, lost points. Uh, this programmer hid his name in the classic Atari 2600 game adventure. Do not shout out the answers. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen. It's, We've got one to... assist from the crowd left. You want to do that? Yeah, All right. You want to do it? Who knows the answer? Anybody? I mean, I mean, that dude's had his hand up since, like, before the words even got out of my mouth. So you might want to go with him. Since the beginning of time. Yeah. Why don't you come on? Since he's so damn eager. Okay, you ready? Darn eager. It is Warren Robinette. Boom. Oh, Dave, correct. Give him that. Give him that. And you know what you get? You get a copy of Tomcat Alley on Sega CD, friend. Enjoy. The case isn't really mint. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I feel like throwing something Steven again. Lucas. So let's do this. These things are built like tanks, so let's throw out another Odyssey yes. game. Oh, no. Ready? <laughs> oh no! Uh, I hope I didn't hurt somebody. <laughs> that was you guys might. Now I know it's your turn. How's your hand? Doing okay? I'll give you another you know game in a little John, bit. John, it's been a while. Yeah. We should really give them another game. These guys? Yeah, I think so. Sure. Yeah, I'll try to find a good one. I know. I love the underdog. Oh, what do we got? Oh. Oh, this is a good Brett, one. This, this one's is... for you. Jurassic Park, Super Nintendo. Jurassic Park on Super Nintendo. Right. Sorry, gang. All right, guys. There's more in the bag. There's yeah. more in the bag. Pretty sure it's your turn. Are we ready? Team Garlic. Let's do classic consoles for 300. All right, all right. Wow, Whoa. that's tiny. I don't know what's up with that. All right. I have my uh, bifocals on. Uh, released in 1982, this console included a built-in vector-based monitor and included the game Mindstorm. Uh, here's a clue. Uh, our friend Pickle Friction wants to buy one. Does that help? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Duh. Duh. The, is that the Vectrix? I don't know. Is it the Vectrix? Hit the space bar. The, it's Vectrix. the Vectrix! Oh! All right. Where did he nice get that job. one? Who knows? We don't have any cards for that. Let's ask somebody in the audience a question. All right. You want to hop All down? Right. Yeah. All right. Somebody raise their hand. You doing okay? How are your knees with the hopping up and down? I'm doing good. All right. All right. I'm fresh. Yeah. Spry. Why what was don't we the last this? one? We asked what? something about Amy Rose, right? Why don't we get this one? guy in the beanie over here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this insufferable <laughs> monster. This, this is Josh. He's got a lot of TVs set up over there. Yeah, the so uh, so Josh does a uh, sometimes weekly game show called The Game Huggers. You should check it out. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> all right. All right. I think you should pick a hard question or maybe Yeah, I don't like them at all. I'm going to find the hardest one. Um, okay, ready? Uh, Dota is a popular multiplayer online battle arena, or MOBA, made by Valve. What does Dota stand for? Do I, uh, can I ask someone to help? <laughs> it doesn't seem fair, does it? No, it doesn't. All right. Oof, that's not me. Uh, just for screwing that one up so badly? Here. Oh, you get Virtual Cop on Sega Saturn. All right, but this guy, you, you know it, right? right? This dude in the jacket, he had his hand raised. He knows All right. it. All right. Come over here, I don't want to get close to the monitors. All right. Defense of the ancients. Ooh. You got it, dude. Yes. That and question. You win something. That answer was out of this world. Oh, out of this world on Super Nintendo. Congratulations. Oh, wait. We do a podcast called Super the Hardest. Here we go. Yeah. Have we, have we mentioned that? Yeah. Is it shameless enough? MojoMenace.com. MojoMenace.com. Or you can go to SuperTheHardest.com and find it. Boy, we're on iTunes, all that stuff. Anyway. Uh, I mentioned it's like rated... 19? PG-19? PG-19, I think, yeah. yeah. Borderline X. Whoa. Nah, that's him. It's filthy. It's not. Filthy, I'm, this I'm guy. Youth Pastor Dave. <laughs> that's actually true. All right. All right, your turn. Uh, Easter eggs for 100. Easter, Easter eggs, eggs for 100. 100. All right, what's the Konami code? Come on, guys. You got this. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. 
Nice. Yes. Okay. We would have also accepted select start if you're doing two players. Uh, you know, for the Konami code, and how about a Konami game? Oh, Metal, Metal Gear. Gear on Nintendo. That's a good one. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal All right. Gear. We ready? You guys ready? All right, here we go. Uh, classic consoles, 400. 400, did you say? Okay. Released only classic in Japan. Classic consoles, 400. Released only in Japan in 1994, this console was billed as the successor to the PC Engine line of consoles. TurboGrafx CD. <sighs> okay, before... Oh, uh, oh damn it. it was the PCFX. It was a PCFX. That is, again, that's not me. I don't know what that is. I don't either. All right. Should we, we, <laughs> we, we're getting, we're getting, wow, you guys, you guys look at that, Turbo Graphics. You guys see that Turbo category Graphics over there, right? The lights. And we don't have a lot of audience members left to choose from here, so. Who can I maim with a game? Find a good, solid game in there. Ooh. Oh. Uh, please right. shield him. Rampage. Rampage. Nintendo. The NES. Welcome. Okay. That's right, Super the Hardest. Oh, Did I'm you hear that, man? Postcard. Super the Hardest does rock. <laughs> if, you, if you learn anything today, Super right. the Hardest rocks. <coughs> All right, uh, you guys are up, yep. yeah? Easter eggs 400. I, I did not hear what she said. Why 200? I said 400. The mic's on, right? Easter yeah. eggs 400. Whoa. We're skipping, we're bopping, we're weaving. All right. The name of the character in the, EG, in the infamous EGM April Fool's 1992 hoax involving Street Fighter II. Come on, so it, I, just, I saw Trick Man Terry walking around. Is he in the audience? No? No? You're not Trick Man Terry. Don't raise your hand. No. Okay, they're going to pass it. They're, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna go for it. Team Garlic's thinking about it. Yeah. Ooh, right. Passed. Drop the beats, DJ Zach. DJ Zach! Yeah, he's giving you some beats. It's good for the mind. Kick, punch. Is that Shen Long? Yes! Wow! Survey says. Wrong game show, but yes. that is correct. Nice. All right, man. Pulled that one out of nowhere. All right, so they passed it. Ooh, that brings it That's back to 400 points. Team Garlic is up again. You guys are going to have to touch that Turbo Graphic 16 at some point. Yeah, I mean. We might allow some more audience help. It's John. my favorite console. John, can we allow some more audience help, baby? Can we hey, what? Allow some more audience help? I don't know. Uh, should we give you each one more audience? One more? Yeah, we'll give you each right, one more right. audience. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, it seems fair, right? You guys seem like nice people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's just dive right in. Turbo Graphics 500. Whoa, look at the... Oh, man, I give you, a, oh I give you an inch, you take a mile. Ooh. Uh, released one. only in Japan in 1989, this spaceship-looking PC Engine variant Turbo was 500. released for a budget price. I mean, you guys went for it. I mean, you're really trying to like just leave them like, what's that called? Uh, you want an audience member? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody? Uh, anybody know this the one? score? All right. All right, you're jumping in. Over here. This guy, yeah, headphones guy. Yeah, I'm gonna come down. Headphones. Hey, Dave, give him... Oh, he's got one of these. He knows. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I, I've met this guy before. Oh, you got something in there? Yeah, yeah. All let's right. see Let's All see right. how he does. PC shuttle. Close enough. We'll take it. PC engine shuttle. Here you go. Oh. Super, you Mario Super Mario 3. Mario 3. Hey, I just Not remembered... I was super mean to this uh, to this guy in the in the front row, so I'm just gonna toss it to him. <laughs> Cody Media's excellent. There you go. There you go. Wow. Yeah, Two there games you go. in one Enjoy. show. You're All so right, uh, I believe it is uh, Beer Makes Smart. All right, Beer Makes Smart. Turn. Classic Consoles 500. Classic, Classic consoles, consoles 500. 500. Here we Here's go. Open. Ahead of its time in 2003, Tapwave released this robust handheld with a touchscreen, built-in MP3 player, Bluetooth capabilities, and an SD card <laughs> slot. Remember, I gave you another one. We got one more audience assist. <laughs> is is that your final answer? Yeah. Don't let it be your final answer. No, it's not. Think about it. You guys okay with that? I mean, you're just blowing the doors <laughs> off, right? 
Okay, okay. Is that, is that your answer? <laughs> All right. Would you like to ask the audience? All right. Anyone Anyone ask the audience. Ooh. Good choice, guys. Head in the choice. back. As I'm walking down, I'd like to remind you that we do a podcast called Super the Hardest. MojoMenace.com. You can find it on iTunes, Super the Hardest. All right. And the answer is? Gizmodo. Whew. You guys can't catch a break, can you? Oh. Uh, no. Definitely oh. not again. Not me. Hey, dude. Oh. Hey, hey. You wait, got wait, it wrong, wait, wait, but... Wait. We can still give you a game. You weren't quite in the zone, so there's in the zone 98. Oh, in the zone 98. All right. Nintendo you like these puns? puns? I'm a dad. I have to make bad dad puns. And that was terrible. It was. Uh... They're up. Team, Team Garlic. Team Garlic. Quirky Classics 500. Quirky. <laughs> You're just going for the throat, you guys. <laughs> no mercy. All right. Uh, in this PlayStation 2 game, you play the role of a young man who moves to a new town and must improve his reputation and kiss the people he meets. I've got a hint for you. It's one of my favorite PS2 games. Do not shout out the answers. I will come down there. I have no idea what it is. And I've read the answer three times. <laughs> Do they have another one? They do have one more. Ask the audience. No mercy. It's just a... I think They're someone in the audience? Yelled, okay. The audience. Does anybody in the answer? audience know this question? Don't say it. Oh, if we've you know got somebody. It, are you willing to come up way up here? Come on. I got somebody in the back. She's got a flashy fanny pack. That's how I noticed her. Hey, take a. Uh, hey, you got a game? These? And take one of these. What's the flyer? Oh, it's a podcast we do called yeah. Super the Artist. Okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. A little, little raunchy sometimes, so keep right. that in mind. What's the name of the podcast? It's called Super the Hardest. Thank you for asking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, MojoMenace.com or SuperTheHardest.com. I'll give you a flyer. Okay, and the answer to the question is... Leisure Suit Larry. What? Is, leisure Suit Larry? Leisure Suit Larry. <sighs> she barely deserves the flyer. Uh, uh, that is the wrong answer. I'm sorry. Uh, the answer is true. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. You still, still give it to her, right? Name. Right. We're, 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 in time we're a charitable a bunch. Where in the world is that answer? Oh. I'm disappointed in the lack of tulip love in this room. Tulip. Get your crap together, Midwest Gaming Classic. <laughs> you guys? Say it again. Easter eggs for 200. Easter eggs. 200. 200. Found in level 1-2 of Super Mario Brothers, fans came up with this name for the hidden area that can be found by doing a tricky crouch jump on a pipe near the end of the level. That was a lot to say. I should have written that better. You got it. Should have been more concise. You made it through it. The warp? What? Uh, so I'm asking for the name of the area that this unlocks, basically. <laughs> Hidden There's warp. The warp? Is it close mm. enough? No. That ain't, man. Minus oh, world. Minus the world. Minus oh. <laughs> they wanted to steal I mean, it just to give them more crap. You guys are practically living in the minus world on that score. <laughs> they just wanted to get... <laughs> um, I, was that, was that rude? I'm sorry. Let me give you a game to make up for that. that a was, real zinger, John. That was rude. That was a humdinger. Here's Daytona, oh, you USA. Get Daytona, USA. That's nice like work. All right. You're welcome. All right. Like I really, I really rubbed amazing. your nose in it, didn't I? Okay. All right. Team ready? Garlic. Turbo Graphics for 100. There you go. It's about time. Turbo Graphics 16. Choices, man. The Turbo Graphics 16 was the American equivalent of what Japanese gaming console? Don't break my heart. PC Engine. PC Engine. PC Engine. You know what? I'm giving out a game. Another 100 uh, points for Team Garlic. Look at this, man. Here's a Turbo Graphics game. Uh, this is a mysterious song. This came out recently, ish, last five years or so, uh, by Frozen Utopia. Check it out. It's pretty good. It's an mysterious, RPG. What was the name of it? Mysterious, mysterious Songs? Mysterious Song Singular. Mysterious Song. All right. Uh, I believe it's uh, Beer Make Smart. Should have had more beer, guys. I know. I yeah, it's okay. I don't know. Easter eggs for 300. Easter eggs. Easter eggs for 300. 300. Please. You want to see Samus in a pixelated swimsuit? Yeah, come on. No, never mind. Uh, type this code into the NES game password screen. You got this, guys. No, we don't. No. Oh. All right, All right. Let, let, of, let an audience we've got uh, a lot of guys raise their hand. Uh, yeah, a lot of furs, right? Who's putting pixelated furs? All right. 
Mr. Two Hands with the green shirt. Come on up. Dave, this one's for you. As you're walking up, let me remind the crowd that we do a podcast called Super the Hardest. Have you heard of it? In the last five right. minutes. Oh, Gaming Outsider podcast. I like that. All right. And your answer is Justin Bailey. Nice. That is correct. We got a lot more games to get rid of, Dave. Oh, um, you won WWF in your house for Sega Saturn. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, this is. I'm keeping, I'm keeping that. All Ooh. right. What, what was this? Stay down there. I got something oh, else. Oh, you got something else? Yeah, we, we've got more stuff. Okay. Let's do this. Um, what was the name of his podcast? I think it. Give the man the some. Uh, give the man some uh, free publicity. Ooh, all right. Gaming outsiders. All right. All right. Can you find it on iTunes or uh, Google Play? Or all that stuff. Awesome. Gaming outsiders. So after you subscribe to Super the Hardest, go over to the Gaming Outsider. Yeah, check that out. There. Dave, this one's for you. Hold this. I'm going to ask a question. Ooh, should we say what the name of the game is first? Yeah, sure. I like that. Go ahead. Ooh. Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits for Super Nintendo. You could have fun playing Defender, Defender 2, Joust, one that I can't read, and another Ooh. one that I can't read. Okay, we gotta move this along. Not Super We're Nintendo. Gonna... Okay, uh, uh, let's time. see. So this is also a Nintendo-related question. This game series by Nintendo features characters such as Marth, Roy, Robin, and Krom. Ooh, all right, come on up. Fire Emblem. You got it, man. Yes, here you go. Have All right, let's get back to the real game. Arcade because, uh, collection on Super Nintendo. It is quarter to us getting kicked off the okay, stage. Okay, we gotta move. So uh, who's up <laughs> next? Is it you guys? Yeah, it's you guys. All right, here we go. Uh, let's do shmups for 400. All right, you're abandoning my favorite category again, but uh, shmups for 400. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Dodon Pachi, Moochie Moochie Pork, Esp Galuda, that's hard to say, and Death Smiles are all arcade shooters developed by this revered studio. We literally just played the death smile in the other room. <laughs> so you should know the answer. <laughs> You'd think. You would. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, pass. Pass, okay, nice. Right. You guys are up, man. They're so far behind, guys. Like, yeah. can I give them a hint? Can I be like, I yeah, yeah, you know, if you're uh, a spelunking, where do you generally do that? I think it maybe rhymes with rave, I think. It rhymes I, with rave. Raves with, rhymes with rave. Well, you guys are super generous to do this. They're Steven still not Lucas getting it. The see the, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, All right. You know, I'm going to throw out a game for somebody. It's for the Atari right. Jaguar. Sorry okay. about that. We're running out of time. Uh, can yeah, you shout are. it out, Mr. Pac-Man hat? Boom! Come get your game. Come get a game. Up over on the front of the stage. All right. Uh, who's uh? You guys. All right. Be big smart. Two hundred. Thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Two hundred. Two hundred. Uh, okay. Uh, the handheld version of the TurboGrafx-16 allowed players to play their turbo chips on the go. Don't let me down. Oh, they're letting you down. No, no, I, 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 I smell a comeback. Uh, the guy in the audience pointed out that it's mathematically impossible for you to come back. Prove him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Prove them wrong. I like that. He's shouting, Mr. Crazy Shirt Man with the snow nothing, cone. Nothing? You want to pass? Snow cone. All right, do you guys, you guys know? Here. The links. Whoa. <laughs> that response was so bad. The crowd is upset. Okay. So bad. Mr. Mr. Two Hands back there, shout I'm out. I'm trying to find the worst game in the pile here. I don't know. I don't know, Madden 99 seems pretty crappy. Here you go. Wow, that was bad. All right. Whew. Turbo Express. Turbo yeah, dude, Express. come on up, get your game. Come on up, get a game. I'm giving you, uh, I don't know. Whew, that one's pretty bad too. I'll give you two Odyssey games. I, mean, I know that's, go buy an Odyssey. Pretty neat system. All right, who's up next? Passed it. Yeah, it's you guys, right? I think so. All right, you pass it to them. They pass. No, okay. Let's do shmups for five hundred. All right, shmups for five hundred. Here we go. Uh, oh, this this one was the hardest one for me to write because man, it's. <laughs> let's see if you can follow my logic. On March thirty first, twenty nineteen, that was not too long ago. Irem announced a sequel to a game that was released in two thousand three and thought to be the last entry in the series. What was the name of that game 
the one that was released in 2003. Small fact, March 31st is also my birthday. <sighs> Sweet. Yeah. He comes from a small town. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting you off. You guys, you don't know it. I don't know either. Anybody from the crowd? <laughs> All right, you back there with the two hands. Our type. Our type. Our type what, dude? <laughs> Wrong. Our type. Come, Our get type your, uh, come get your games, dude. All right. You guys both get a game. I want to give him a game still. We got to give him a game. This guy? This guy with the hoodie? No, back here with the two hands. He was, he was throwing it off there. He was shouting. Most Everybody gets a game. Hands, you get a dude. game. All right, this guy right here, you? Are you my two-handed guy? You got two hands, right? Using the catch. Your games are right on the edge of the stage. Yeah, there you go. Nice. All right, I believe... 300. 300. All right, 300. Uh, this was the first game packed in with the original TurboGrafx-16. Do it. Do it. Oh, beer mix, <laughs> smart. All right. Ooh. Does it hurt you? It's painful. It's physically hurting John. So it's like I love it. The one system we never owned, so. I, I don't know, random guess, bonk. Great guess. <laughs> uh, John, do you know the answer to this one? It's uh, Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. Uh, oh, Keith Courage and the Alpha Zones. Yeah, everybody, right? Uh, you know. Uh, you I mean, you, you said bonk, I'm giving you Bubsy. Oh, you knew back there with the Sven Gulli shirt. Come on up, I'm giving you a, I'm giving you a game. That guy? That what guy. Are, what shirt does he have on? Oh, Sven Gulli? Yeah. Sweet. All right. He gets a shirt just for knowing the answer. Hey, or, Sven Gulli, come on over here. We do a podcast. It's called Super the Hardest. You can find it anywhere you get podcasts. There you go. <laughs> you get Pit Fighter on Super Nintendo. There you go. All right. We've got one left. All right. Last uh, question. You guys, yeah? <laughs> All right. Ready? 400. 400. On the three and one super CD, you know you guys aren't getting this at all, are you? Uh, I'm not getting that either. On this three and one super CD ROM that was bundled with the Turbo Duo, this hidden fourth game could be accessed. Is that right? Yeah, I don't know. By entering a code on the title screen. It's a fourth game that was hidden and wasn't on the menu screen. You put in a code and you get the game. Do you want to ask the audience again? You There's do. There's a guy right there yeah, that yeah. looks very confident. Bomberman, indeed. You Bomber want a game. Bomberman. All right. You win a game. All right. What do you got in there? Something good. How about Mortal Kombat? Ooh, Mortal Kombat and Sega Genesis. All right, dude. All right. All right. Now we have one last twist before we end. Yeah, uh, The score true. so far is uh, a lot to not a lot. All right? We're going to do a final question. You guys have a chance. I told you you're going to prove them wrong. All right? Dave's handing out some paper. What a twist. What a final twist. Final question. I mean, that's copyrighted, so yeah, it is kind of Final Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh my lord, we're getting sued. Here we go. Okay, oh, now here's the deal. You have to that's write nice. down your wager. We do a podcast. And the answer. Also put your team name on there, in case, you know, we mix it up. I put it, it on up. there already. The category it. is Super Nintendo. Huh? I told you. All right, told you Super there'd Nintendo. be one. All right. You got your wagers down. Write your wagers. Okay, let's do it. Here it is. I wrote this like 10 minutes before we started. I hope I didn't screw it up. This is the country where the towns of Onet, Tucson, Threed, and Foreside are located, and where Ness's adventure begins. The country. Really? You're both giving me blank looks, so I'm going to help you out. Really? Yeah, that was. This is a PG show. Uh, <laughs> She's not on mic, thankfully. Uh, the game's earthbound, dummies. Okay. All right. What was the country? Where, oh, I told you I will come down there. Oh. And we are kicking somebody out of this. All right. They didn't hear you anyway, right? All right. You, pretend you didn't hear them. All right. Write down your answer. We got a lot of cosplayers waiting to get on stage, yep. so make it somewhat snappy. In the meantime, while you're writing them down... Let's, I'm going to go get the final prize. Yeah, yeah. We've got a great final sorry. prize. Who wants a game? Somebody wants a game. I don't know. I'm trying not to let this hit you in the head. Out oh, there. There it goes. There you go. I think that was a Genesis game. All right. 
We lost Dave, that's okay. Let me know when you guys are ready. All right, you guys are writing down a funny answer, aren't you? Okay, let me see what your wager was. Team Garlic. All right, they wagered a thousand dollars. No points, a thousand for, dollars. no money involved yes. here. All right, their answer was that one place. Oh, that terrible one effort. Place. Terrible effort. I'm gonna oh. just give you that back because I don't want to hold All it right, anymore. All right, your answer. Whoa. Oh. Sure, you want to change that? Okay. I got three more games here. All right, what's Ooh, their, what's their John, wager? They, guessed, they wagered 1500 and they guessed Eagle Land. Eagle Land is the correct answer. Oh. Uh, Joel, uh, if they get you, you took, uh, if they get 1500 points, does it bring them to the top? I, it, I, it was 3000 to 2700. They win the game. Are you? Oh my gosh. Coming from behind. Proved your own, you buddy win. boy. All right, so these prizes are very cool. I want to oh. thank Dan Lucen yeah. and the folks who run Midwest Gaming Classic for donating these. Uh, these are posters, I believe, from last year. Yep, limited edition, signed by Dirty Donnie himself. Signed, numbered. Yes, he did the artwork for the, the show last year. He's the guy who does all the metallic artwork. Now, am there I to understand go. correctly that you guys are married and live in the same house? So you probably don't need two posters. And these guys did really good. <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys think, this one. Here you I go. I think the score, John, I think the score was tied. It was totally tied. Fun to fun? Prove it. Prove it otherwise, suckers. All right, a couple All right, more games. Thanks. Come on, who wants a game? Yep. We're going to chuck it out. A couple more games in the crowd. I'll give you this one. It's, uh, it's, I don't want to throw it because it'll break. Hey, this little guy right here. You want a game, right? All right. What do you, you don't want the Jaguar, though. Here, take the Genesis. One Sega more Genesis. game. I'm going to toss it out. All right. I tossed it over there before. I'll toss it over here this time. Super the Hardest is yes. our podcast, MojoMenace.com. Thank you for playing Beer Makes Smart and Team Garlic. We have a table right over there behind the Pizza Shack. If you come, want to come by and say hi. Come get a postcard if you haven't uh, got one We're going to set up yet. a kissing booth. Dave is uh, Dave's going to be kissing. 